Suppose you have a menu item in your WordPress website that you want to customize and style differently and give probably different relationships and maybe open it in a new tab as well. This is a video for you. So for instance, this is a download menu item. When you see here in my menus item under appearance menus, I have my menu items and I have a special menu item which is a custom link and I want people to go to a special link where they can download my courses or resources and probably I want this menu item to look a bit different from other menu items here in the navigation. Now if someone clicks on this download menu item they should be taken in a new tab but in this case it just loads and then makes the website visitor leave your home page which is not something that you probably want to see. So I'm going to go back here to the page. So we have our menu items and what we are going to do is we are going to give a relationship to this menu item, style it differently and open it in a new tab using some features from the WordPress menu items. So back here into our website. And first of all, let's make sure that when someone clicks on this menu item download, it opens up in a new tab. How do we do that? First of all, we are going to scroll up here under the screen options and we are going to enable the link target. We are going to check this option, close that. And once you check it and you click down below here, you see we have a new option called open link in a new tab. So if you don't want, if you don't have that link target option checked, you see we don't have that option. So when I check that, now we have that option, so I'm going to save changes. Now when I come here to my page, my home page, I reload this. Now when I click on the about menu item, it is going to open up in a new tab. Click, boom. Good. Now I'll close this back to our menu items. But before, we want to style this menu item differently. So you could give it a CSS or a CSS class and style it differently. But to do that, we have to identify what is the name of this menu item so that we can either target it with a menu item ID or we can give it a CSS class, which is an inbuilt WordPress feature. So if you want to target the menu item using the menu item ID, we can inspect the page. So we say inspect. Um, so here I can come and look at this menu item, which is this here. For you, it will be different, but that's how you can locate the menu ID. Make sure that you select that specific item. This is the one you want to target. Get this and then target that ID using some CSS properties. However, we can also create a CSS class for this specific menu item using a WordPress feature, which is inbuilt. And that takes us back over here in our navigation. And when you look down below here, we only have the option to open the link in a new tab. But if we come back here to our screen options and we say CSS classes. So when I enable that, you see that now we have a new option called CSS classes. Now that means that we can add a class to this menu item and we can target that class in our additional CSS and we style it the way we want. So I have already created my CSS style, which is right over here. This is the CSS. And this CSS has a class of download. So it can be a different class. And these are different states of the download button. So on normal, this will be the color. And on active, this should be the color. And on hover, this should be the color. What we have to use is simply write this CSS class. Come here to your menus and make sure that you just add your CSS class as the download and save changes. Now, when we come here to our website, we are going to reload and you see that now our button has a new styling. So before it was just a menu item, but somehow we have changed it into a button. So in case you wanted to add a specific styling to a menu item in your WordPress website, that is the quickest way to do it. Just create a CSS class and target that class using the additional CSS that you add to your WordPress website. Perhaps you are wondering where do I add the custom CSS like this over here. So this varies depending on the theme that you are using. Currently, I am using the Hello theme, which is the Hello Elementor theme. And this Hello Elementor theme allows me to add 
custom CSS to it without having the pro version. Other themes will require you to add the custom CSS only if you have a pro version of that theme. So it varies from theme to theme. So you have to check with your theme or your theme developer whether you are able to add additional CSS for free. But for most of the themes, they have the option to add additional CSS only that you may have to pay for that feature. So check that with your theme developer in case you are not using the Hello theme. So the other thing that you would want to look into is that if you are adding a custom um, link to your menu items, just like this over here, you would want to inform Google about the relationship of you and that item or the menu item or the link that you've added in your website. So for example, what is my relationship with this website called Gumroad? So in this case, I want to offer some resources for my viewers and readers to download for free and to use as well. Your relationship can be different. It can be a friend to your, uh, it can be a website to your friend. It can be your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Just like over right here as WordPress describes the relationships that you can identify or define in that section. If someone is a contact, a friend, a co-resident, it could be a colleague, a co-worker, you know, a family. So you would want to show your relationship between your website and the person you are linking to. Under the menus tab, come back here to screen options and then click on link relationships. And now we have a new option here called relationships. So here I can say portfolio, but for you, it can be different. And that's it. This will not be displayed at the front end. It's basically to help the web crawlers to understand what relationship is between your website and the link or the other website you are linking to. So save changes. And now when I come back here, I reload, you see nothing happens or nothing changes, but in the background, it makes sense to the crawlers or the web crawlers to understand your relationship between your website and the website you have linked to. So in a nutshell, that's how you can customize or add specific style relationships to your WordPress menus by using the advanced menu options from WordPress. Like, comment and subscribe if you found this video of value.